Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 10, this is my review. I'm sorry it's a little bit late, but I was really, really busy. I've been out since the early hours of the morning, and I've literally only just got back. So I'm recording this at about 9pm-ish, going on to 10-ish at this point. So I'm going to try and get this up very very soon because I know tons of you guys have been messaging about this episode on Twitter and everything because it was a major episode in terms of emotion, twists and different turns that it takes and I have to say I really really liked this episode, it was really great and it felt like a proper Supergo episode as the recent episodes have and I'm really optimistic going into the back half because, um, as you know, I didn't really like episode 1 and 2 and then from 3 onwards, I've been loving it and I think this episode was great as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's break this down as I do with my normal reviews if you guys are new or if obviously we haven't reviewed in probably like to do with Supergirl in like uh, over a month or so because we've had the long break since the Elseworlds crossover but in my reviews we break it down and we just talk about bits I liked bits I didn't like and you know mainly to do with the plot line and what's happening so first off the episode starts with Red Daughter and this was so amazing I love this scene it perfectly tees what's to come in regards to Red Daughter because they say she won't be facing tanks and so this is in regards to her training because they've been training her up as we've seen over the episodes in season 4 they've waited a long time for this sort of bigger part that they actually included in this episode so the scene is like a minute long or something like that which is longer than the 10 second things we kept on getting and so the idea that she won't be facing tanks is the idea it's not normal it's going to be alien it's going to be more powerful than a tank and what's more powerful than a tank supergirl and who is she a doppelganger of supergirl so they are gearing up and they're going to be trying to come to national city most likely to take over and or there's going to be another ulterior motive but she's going to be facing supergirl very soon they are training her for something and also in the scene they talk about can she be controlled and used as some sort of weapon we can infer from that so they are gearing up to use Red Daughter for evil purposes definitely okay so the other main storyline in the episode was the shimmering alien and Haley and the fact that Haley is involved in this cover-up scheme the idea that these aliens they were captured when they were young they were used as military operatives and now, because the president ordered the termination of all aliens, you know, associated with the government because, you know, they're dickheads. And now that they're all against aliens because suddenly they're like, fuck aliens because the public doesn't like aliens supposedly now. So that is the main story because the aliens are outlawed and they come for revenge. And I like these aliens. I, I really felt for them. I felt bad, although they killed some people. Haley in this episode, oh my god. What a prick. What a prick. Like, seriously, she can't just lay off on Kara or she can't lay off on Alex and the DEO agents. In one point, she even finds out who freaking Kara is. She finds out that she's Supergirl, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So, the mind wipe is something that goes into play at the end of the episode. We'll talk about Alex in a second, but Jean mind wipes Haley when Alex actually knocks her out which was amazing I have to say but the other DEO members were actually um, mind wiped by Jean because they needed to not know that Kara is Supergirl in order to not compromise Supergirl as her identity because with Haley actually finding out she was going to try and actually use that information in order to get her back in the DEO and pull her strings and we don't want that for Supergirl obviously and I have to say this episode was extremely emotional, the ending scene, oh my god, that really got everyone, everyone on Twitter, everywhere was just freaking out because it was so sad. I saw a video of uh, one of my friends on Twitter actually like full on crying, so shout out to her because, you know, wow, what an ending scene. And this is the moment where Alex says to Kara, let me save you this time, like, oh my god, like seriously, stop it. But 
Anyway, that was a fabulous scene, but it was extremely emotional. And so that was the mind wipe at the end of the episode. That's how it ended to do with Alex and the fact that she's not going to know Kara is Supergirl. She knows that Kara is her sister, but that's about it. And there's obviously going to be ramifications in terms of their relationship because that's a crucial element since season one to their relationship is Supergirl, that Kara is her. So what's going to happen? She's just forgot all of this. And the trailer for next week is really intriguing. Hopefully we get time to break it down tonight, or it might come out tomorrow, depending on my time schedule, but wow, what an ending to the episode. A major twist, and a shocking twist at that. And so, Brainy and Nia play a rather big role in this episode, and Nia didn't do too much, but Brainy was a big part of this episode, and I have to say, I like Brainy a lot more in this episode, I'm really kind of warming up as he goes on, he's really charming, but like I said before, he can't replace Win. Win is like the heart of the show and it sucks that he's not coming back to the next season. But I think we I think it doesn't give Brainy justice to actually compare him to Win. I think he's his own character. Yes, he's funny, Win was funny, but I think they played very different roles, although they switched with each other. So I think it gives them a disservice to do that. But I'm really warming up to Brainy as we go along. And so he gives the designs to Nia in regards to her becoming Dreamer, this superhero that we saw that amazing poster for the other day. So I'm extremely excited because I love that poster so much. And let's move on to talk about James and Lena. This is sort of like the only part of the episode that was just sidelined. Like, I can barely remember a lot to do with that. It was just like them getting back together. You know, that was nice to see them back and it was them accepting each other. And... She did actually reveal in one kind of bigger part that she was actually experimenting on this new way to create these humans into actual, you know, people with powers. And I have to say one thing about this, they know the Flash, especially Supergirl, Alex and everyone, they know the Flash exists, they know there's metahumans on their earth, including Livewire and Silver Banshee. So why is it so radical to think that these people can become you know, metahumans, essentially. I seriously don't get the logic in that. I think they've just kind of overlooked that, but um, they even have metahumans on their show, Livewire. So, anyway, let's move on. So there's an attack at the DEO, and that scene was really kind of cool. I really liked how they did it with the POV shots and Brainy using the paintball gun to actually spot them and they end up taking those aliens down they shoot one in the leg and that is the point where alex knocks out Haley because Haley finds out about supergirl and she's like i've had enough of this fuck you boom there we go she's knocked out and then they call jean in and jean wipes Haley's memory because Haley is trying to get supergirl back so she can control her and she can actually pull at her strings and so there are just some little moments in this episode to cherish between especially Kara and Alex especially that let me save you this time moment at the end when they're just cuddling like oh my god also there was the Kara talking to Alex on the phone scene I thought that was really well shot and it really 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 just touched me and it, it touched so many other people and I just thought this episode really did a great job at balancing the action. Yes, the CGI isn't all too good, but we can never expect that because the budget's very, very significantly low for what they're trying to actually attempt. You know, aliens that are completely CGI, um, but I think they did a good job with what they had. Yeah, so there's just some really nice scenes, especially that spin class scene at the start with Kara and Lena. That was a gem. I loved that scene. Kara pretend to actually be, oh, this is so much effort. Oh my God, I'm sweating all over the place and whatever. And it really, really was amazing. And it made me laugh. It made me giggle. And especially when she was like, oh, I got a cramp. Oh, ah, I need to go out and ice my leg. And she just takes her glasses off in the iconic Supergirl way, Superman way as well. And she just rips it off and she goes and saves those people. So yeah. That was mainly the whole part of the episode, and just like I said, there's the opening with Red Daughter was extremely intriguing. Like, she won't be facing tanks. What's she gonna face? She's gonna be facing people stronger than tanks, and who's stronger than a tank? 
Supergirl. And also we had the twist ending and the twist in the episode that Haley finds out about her being Supergirl and then Alex knocks her out, but then they have to wipe everyone's minds, including Alex, and oh wow. So really, really great episode, and let me know in the comments down below what did you think of the episode? Did you like it as much as me? And did you like it as much as everyone else? Did you cry? Were you emotional? What happened? I didn't actually cry, but I was, you know, nearing on those tears, but I really, really felt it in my heart. And like I said, a lot of people on Twitter were posting videos of themselves crying over this, and it was really, really amazing. So, wow, I'm really, really looking forward to this. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.